This is actually heat. The compost is hot. Oh, it's hot. These warm microbes are really doing their job. Hmm. Look at the heat. I thought these are spores. They are not. This is the heat. Oh, that's lovely. This is decomposing. Beautiful. We are now near the center of the compost heap and you see the heat is rising. Uh, we generate, we can generate heat by this. Keep it, keep it so warm, it's so warm here. And uh, I was uh, actually thinking for many years, we, in the allotments in the UK, we live in the medieval times. Medieval times uh, has not finished for us. It's a continuum from the dark ages to now. 21st century, Tuesday, 20th of the December 2016. We don't have electricity in the allotment, we don't have running water. We are lucky if you have a toilet. Uh, of course, the peasants in the medieval time and in dark ages didn't have any uh, toilet. They had just a hole that was toilet. And uh, yeah, we practically are practicing medieval ways. Composting and uh, not adding any pesticide or herbicide or or fertilizer other than what nature providing us naturally in a sustainable way every year, year after year. So welcome to medieval time in allotment. UK medieval warm. at the near the center of the leaf mold heap. Oh so warm, almost hot. <laughs> a little bit hotter if it will burn. <laughs> No electricity, no running water, allotment is just uh, <laughs> depending on the manpower. Uh, I'm not using even a shovel because it's difficult with a shovel to <laughs> to dig this uh, compost heap. I just use my hand, I'm just wearing gloves just to keep clean a little bit <laughs> or protect from the uh, any sharp objects if, if, if it is in the compost heap. And uh, yeah, no electricity. No or running water. It reminds me of that uh, Ray Davis uh, dead end street. No water, no rent, nothing. <laughs> Practically, this is this is the story of the allotments in 21st century. No electricity, no running water, and uh, yeah, treated as second class. I don't know, <laughs> considering that the developers are after the land <laughs> everywhere in the country. It seems some far away. Places. Beautiful. We have yet beautiful sites because we live out there. Yeah, I think this truckload is, is the next batch. It's the second truckload I'm taking to that potato patch, Christmas potato patch.